Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the VNC black screen problem, which is a problem that I myself had and many other users have had um, with VNC, which is a application for a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch that allows you to see your iPod on your computer. And basically, this tutorial will show you guys how to fix this problem. And first thing I'd like to say is that big shout out to the HD iPhone who requested this tutorial for you guys. So, if you guys like this tutorial, it's all because of him uh, that I'm making this one right now. So, uh, to start off, uh, I'm going to show you guys my iPod, which is right here. Uh, no more live cam, I've decided to go through this way, so it's just straight through video recording. And here's my iPod, and I'm in VNC, and I have the newest version installed. At the top is the version um, that I that's currently available, and if I scroll down here, uh, to where it says installed package um, here we go I have the exact same version and this version is the bad version that makes your VNC have a black screen for many people so basically what you want to do is downgrade this which I will show you guys in uh, a second just to verify here that this will not work I'm going to connect and then I'm going to accept and here you go it's black uh, my iPod is not unlocked because clearly you can see uh, that it's here and nothing shows up for VNC. So what you want to do for this guys is basically just open up your internet browser. I use Mozilla Firefox and search for VNC underscore 0.9.3023-1.deb. All links will be in the description for this and the first one that should show up should be from 4Shared. There's going to be two download buttons. One says download 4Shared desktop. Don't click on that one. Click on the download now no viruses detected and you'll have to wait 20 seconds so just wait this amount of time uh, it's not as bad as mega upload or mega upload you have to wait 45 seconds uh, but it's not as good as media fire where you have to wait uh, wait zero seconds so still a short wait I just killed a whole bunch of time by talking so click here to download this file and you want to make sure it's set on save file click OK to download in no time Go to your downloads folder or wherever your downloads are saved to, locate the dev file, drag it to your desktop. Now for this part of the tutorial, you will need to know how to SSH into your iPod, whether you're on a Windows-based uh, computer or a Mac. Check out my previous tutorial on how to SSH into an iPod, only for Windows. If you're a Mac user, there's other tutorials on the internet, so go find one. And once you have everything set up for your SFTP client, you want to connect to it. and you want to navigate back one directory by click double clicking on these two dots scroll down until you see mobile go into library and then downloads drag the vnc.dev file into here click copy now the next part of the tutorial you will need to have iFile on your iPod so check out my previous iFile tutorial also and I will switch back over to uh, the uh, webcam and as soon as I open up iFile for you guys and once it's all ready okay so here we go this is uh, the directory that you want to be in is backslash var backslash mobile backslash library backslash downloads the exact same uh, directory that we were just in in uh, WinSCP and to get here um, if you're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Sorry about this. I'm just going to quickly do this. Basically, you just click on the arrows until you go all the way back to the backslash directory. Scroll down until you see the word var, which is down here. And then you want to find mobile, which I'm going to do because this is extremely hard to do. Mobile, then go into library, and then downloads just like uh, we did in WinSCP. And you should have your file in here, vnc underscore 0.9.3023-1.deb. Click on it. Ah. Click on it. Then click installer. Right there. And it should install. 
and if it finishes with result code of zero, that means everything went well, everything's good, and now if you use VNC again, it will all be okay. Now if you get a uh, result code of 512, that means that you have Cydia open, so exit out Cydia, and then reinstall this. If you have an error code of 256, then you must uh, already have this installed, so don't bother installing it again. Then there's a different problem with your VNC, and you shouldn't be watching this tutorial. So once it's all done, I'm going to respring your iPod. You need to respring your iPod. That's probably the most important part. This will not work unless you respring first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that via SB settings, and it's respringing. And just give it a second, and then I will launch VNC for you guys so you can see that it works. And it's almost there. Give it another second. There we go, it's all resprung. Going to click on VNC, click connect, and I'm going to tap on accept. There we go, and now my iPod is right here, fully functional. Uh, everything exactly the same. I can open up my photos and it will go there and then I could exit this back out and it will do everything exactly the same. VNC is now fixed. Uh, no more black screen problem. So guys, uh, hope you like this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And again, big shout out to the HD iPhone for requesting this tutorial. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, please.